And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Diana. It's going to be our next deck. This is a donation deck where we're going to be playing Twisted Fate with some Nightfall with Diana. I just talked about whenever we just played the the uh, Swole Cat deck a little bit ago, <clears throat> how Quick Attack and Challenger are really, really good together. And Diana is just a, a nice combination of Quick Attack and Challenger together. Um, in this deck, we have nine one drops, which are going to, like, we're maybe not turning on Plunder all the time for this Jagged Butcher, but having the nine one mana cards is going to be important for our Nightfall cards of helping turn these on. Like, we're turn three, we can play a one drop and then play Diana or Shade Stalker. Turn four, we can play a one drop and then play Priestess, you know, for example. So, those are going to be important turning on our Nightfall cards. <clears throat> we got Zap Sprayfin in here, getting awesome spells. So, our only spells that cost three or less, and really, I guess, just our only spells in general, are these 11. Make It Rain, Pale Cascade, Bastion, and Hush. All those spells are just awesome. Those are four incredibly good spells for Sprayfin to draw. So we know every time we play a Sprayfin, we're drawing something really good. We don't have any warning shots in here um, that we sometimes draw warning shot. But then also, this is Targon with Bilgewater, so we have Twisted Fate with Bastion. That's a wonderful combination to help protect Twisted Fate and help us level up Twisted Fate more. Finally, we got Jaw Hunters in here. And this is just a really good Jaw Hunters metagame, it's looking like, with a lot of people playing Bastion. Because it's harder to kill kill things with spells now if they have permanent spell shield. So you want challengers, and Jaw Hunters can trade up with it doing four damage. It can uh, kill a Lee Sin right away, or it can kill a Zed even if a Zed has a Bastion on it. Um, so it does good there, and then it also can create that sea monster for us, which sometimes that sea monster can be really, really valuable. Um, sometimes it can be, you know, an elusive that is drawing us cards that helps level up uh, Twisted Fate. It can be even more removal with Devour Depths, so you can, you know, have Jaw Hunters and Devour Depths pair up for even more removal, or maybe you get some treasures with Shipwreck Order. Those are all good. The only one you don't really want is the eight mana one um does it not even show up here do i just not own any of the eight mana sea monster or or no it's shadow owls okay it's shadow owls never mind terror of the tides don't really want that one all right but anyway twisted diana let's get going we're gonna go play our five games over in ranked and let's see if we can build upon our awesome record with swole cat just a little bit ago twisted diana we're gonna be playing a bunch of bilgewater decks <clears throat> the last three decks are all Bilgewater decks. This Twisted Diana and the Stalking Hunters are, are honestly kind of similar. They should both be good. Great, Nosa. Yeah, y'all just started playing this game yesterday. That's awesome. Yeah, glad you're having fun with it. If you ever have any questions or anything, always ask. Would Crescent Guardian be good here in this? Potentially. Especially if you can, you know, turn on that Nightfall, have it be the 5-3. You'd probably have to play it over Jaw Hunters, but I think that I'd rather have Jaw Hunters being the removal. Um, like, so Crescent Guardian wouldn't be bad. But, digging through the deck list, there's nothing that I would rather have Crescent Guardian than... You know, like, I'm, I'm, yeah, than it, so. We were peaceful once. That's kind of the problem. It's it's not necessarily that there's anything wrong with Jaw Hunters. It's just, or sorry, sorry, nothing wrong with Crescent Guardian. But I don't think it's an upgrade anywhere. Yes. See a Petty Officer. Oh no, I just have rookie emotes. I didn't change my emotes. Sorry, Astra. Rookie emotes. Punish transgressions. It is raining bullets here 
maybe even cannons here on this battlefield. So I like going to a specific blue card, get that extra mana for Bastion. I guess they probably won't be able to kill a Twist of Fate, though. So actually, you know what? Let's just go gold card. Take out this, you know, kill their four mana card. Have our four drop kill their four drop. Be able to go right to attacks. Been quite a while, Sarah. So serious. You're prettier when you smile. Mm. I think we're just gonna bash in Twisted Fate right now. Just so I can use some mana, right? Like, we're gonna waste all this mana. Actually, let's bash in the Solari Soldier so the Solari Soldier can block. Otherwise, I'm just wasting all this mana. No one's the wiser. <laughs> playing that thing. Good. Keep up, keep up. That worked out. Victory at any cost. Do, 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 do. No mercy for heretics. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the two cards I've been really liking lately were Jaw Hunters and Trifarian Glory Seeker. Just those two cards have been really, really impressive. And, and Glory Seeker was just the most important card for us getting that uh, 5 0 with Swolcat. Both times we got it, really. Okay, that hurts. Maybe I should have done that Mega Rain before taking damage. I was worried about missing with that Mega Rain before damage. Looks like trouble. War Mason, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to turn on Plunder for Riptide Rex. When we're done, I'm taking your head. Don't make promises you can't keep, little Yeah, this looks kind of bad. Hush could be really important this turn. Yeah, we're, we're going to need to hush some stuff. Unfortunately, they're not doing anything before combat, so I don't get to, like, hush the misfortune. I don't know how I'm, how I'm doing damage to them with, for the Riptide Rex. Um, I guess. You're bluffing. I guess it's Sprayfin. Obviously, we can die to a whole lot of things. If I don't block this, going down to four is really risky. But I just don't. I don't see how we win if I don't. If I don't keep Sprayfin alive. These, we've drawn all three Bastions, and all three have done absolutely nothing. I have my orders. Now, Twisted Fate was only at like four. It wasn't that. It wasn't very close to leveling. Your king has returned. Explosives. Well, 
No one's the wise. Good time. Attack for six. Come on, Bastion Pump. Elusive Bastion. Come on. No. Darn. Yeah, that was my best bet. This deck only has two Riptide Rex. So we had we had both of our two Riptide Rexes. Cause this deck doesn't isn't playing any warning shots or any way to get warning shot. I don't know, I like having a lot of one drops in this kind of matchup. It did help us get ahead last game. We just couldn't stay ahead. Yeah, no, we can't really play Yordle. And I, I'm not saying that we should be playing Warning Shots, but I'm saying that's why we're only playing two Riptide Rex. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Yeah. That two three is perfect. Devotion to battle. Yeah. You point, I shoot. I'm definitely worried about Twisted Fate. Oh, I guess I'll just play it though. So, not playing Jaw Hunters before combat because of Twisted Fate. have a Cygnus in here. I do want to play my Jaw Hunters this turn so we can grab the uh, grab the sea monster and probably play the sea monster the next turn. But I guess not. I mean they they are just set up for Twisted Fate red card. Like that's yeah. You know, that's just what that's going to be. Oh uh I gotta play something else first. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. Hmm. Huh. Do I double make it rain? Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Love it. Must we fight? Go and harvest it. We'll save the two Mega Rain. So I, I, I could have double made Safety. Mega Rained and killed both of those things. But then. I don't know, I'm I'm left with Man, I'm getting getting punished for my decision. But basically I'm left with two things with one health, and I I'm worried against Mega Rain and, and Twisted Fate. I don't like having two things with one health. And so I traded those each one of those things that would have one health for two different units on their side. Never lost a fair game. Never played one. Something so hapless aristocrat, unfo you know, unfortunately gives them a spiderling. Success. Get you noticed around here. Cast this now or wait. 
I just really hope we do both of these to these. It's not very likely. Okay, that one's good. No! The first one was so good, and then the second one's the second one was the worst possible. First one was was perfect, and then yeah, second one worst case scenario. Lady Luck is smiling. And then obviously we draw Riptide Rex right after I just cast my two Mega Rains, making me look silly there. I had to do the Mega Rains because I, I didn't want to take all this damage, right? And so, like, I think it was—I think it was still the right play. Okay, Heim Revive with Targon. So probably Heimer Invoke. Yeah, looks pretty good. Night flowers upon my blade. Ours is the one Freedom soldier. How bad do I want this Butcher to be a 3-3? I can hit him for 2 right now, but then, you know, it stays a 2-2, two, two, or I could not hit them for 2 and have it a 3-3. Three, three. So 15 and a 3-3, three, three, or 13 and a 2-2? Two, two. I mean, probably 13 and a 2-2. Two, two. We'll see. We'll see that's supposed to be 15 and a 3-3. They forced us to choose death or the blade. You leave me no recourse. Okay. And yeah, we're gonna be leading with Solari Soldier. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. So have Diana be able to challenge a smaller blocker if they have something else. Yeah, just let me go to combat. Just take nine. Devotion to battle. We'll just do that and have Bastion available, I guess, instead of playing Diana. Jaw Hunters. Jaw Hunters can challenge a Heimerdinger. I'm worried about passing and then they pass also. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Headed in. Trouble coming at ya. Freeze. Yeah, I got the Devourer. I'm probably not playing the Devourer 
pre-combat, am I? Sunward. Just go to attacks. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. I guess all they need to stay alive would be the gain gain five card. My patience wanes. Okay, maybe we're just playing Devour then. Because they didn't use the gem to heal their Vi yet. Yeah, let's do this. Because now they got to use something here to deal with this. And then we solve the attack, and then they have to do something to survive this attack. Alright, so they don't draw a card. So, you know, the, so basically the Devourer of the Depths forced them to use two mana and spend a card. So that's that's worth it. And now we have this 4-4 four, four out. So now they only have four mana left. So even though they, they blocked the 4-4, four, four, they have four mana to deal with all this. And they can't. One and two. We speak, and they will hear us. I could see changing out the Lunari Dustbringer. I could see that. I I don't think you should change out, take out Mega Rain. The Mega Rains have been awesome for us, uh, but they are not as good without kegs. I will admit that. That's true. Um, will let's get rid of the Shade Stalkers. I don't know. This is it's going to be a tough matchup. We're playing a lot of smaller units and everything, and Shen, Shen Fiora does great against smaller units, so this looks like this is going to be a tough matchup. We were peaceful once. Alright. Dustbringer are going to have to get some damage in for me. We'll wait on Diana for Diana to be a real removal spell. Oh, love that draw. That can help take down Fiora. By my honor, you must die. What? Gotta die? You must die. No other choice. Temperamental as moonlight. I don't know, the Silence of Follower could help against Genevieve Elmhart and uh, the 5-4. I mean, Written in Stars is pretty cool, though, too. It's definitely one of these two. Um, but yeah, Genevieve, both Genevieve Elmhart and then the Swiftwing Lancer. Like, Swiftwing Lancer would be awesome to silence. Equinox is actually a good card. Yeah, Equinox is good, but then Written in Stars, that gets us Twisted Fate. That's a 4-4. I could guess Diana. Uh, tough call. I'm gonna go with the Equinox. I don't know. That's a really tough call. Bless the people and fear the heretics. These woods protect their own. Blood and guts, golden glory. Definitely expecting barrier. For Fiora. And so. Lunari, rise. So Mega Rain is vital here. Stay back. Yeah, Stan United is the worst case scenario. Your move. Nature blesses her followers. Oh. All right, so I'll take care of that, but single combat keeps their Fiora alive. Hmm. 
I guess that that keeps their Fiora at three health. So that's pretty smart, keeping their Fiora at three health. I was I thought they were gonna have Fiora single combat and kill my four one. But I guess they're going that way. Yeah, I could see playing one Rex, one Cygnus. No, Rex is just so powerful when Rex works. Perfect Equinox, that's a really good one. Because <laughs> that Swiftwing Lancer is such a beating. Card is normally such a beating. Um, I'm going to skip blocks for now. Bastion. Okay, now they're Twisted Fate. Deal me in. <clears throat> Going blue card so I can have Diana plus Pale Cascade. Red card would allow all these things and Fiora to trade. But we're also just getting additional cards. It's always good to get more cards. Getting more cards is good. I just passed. No more hiding. No, I would not play Crescent Guardian instead of Butcher. Like the the one drops really help out your Nightfall cards. Like it'd be if you just make that change, it'd be a lot more difficult to turn on your Nightfall cards, and you're adding in a Nightfall card. So that that could just it's just gonna really slow down the deck a whole bunch. No time for fools. So fully expect barrier. Yep. Okay. I am one with the land. Ye started without me. There's plenty of killing there. Alright, so they're at eight with four cards. Strike quickly, strike deftly. Oh yeah. They've used two Riposte, as far as barriers that increase Fiora size. Oh, another Riposte. Something would just be like Lifesteal Barrier. Down. All right, so that's three repose. Gold card kills the five two. Help make my attack better. So I'm gonna be playing Twisted Fate, just debating between gold card or blue card. I'm gonna go blue card. No, we could kill the five two. Like that helping us find stuff to take out the Fiora is the most important thing. River shape the land and give it life. What do we got? Bastion. Bastion Bastion's good against, you know, single combat and stuff like that. I'm using those kind of cards to help out Fiora. So nine mana, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I need ten mana. To be able to play everything. So I'm, I'm one mana short of being able to play all three of these cards. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. 
I mean, I can try to take down Fiora with Pale Cascade. Are they going to have another barrier card? Probably pretty likely, right? I don't expect them to have Judgment. I haven't really seen Judgment too much in these kind of decks. It's our time. Face your heretic. But I'm dead if they have I'm pretty dead if they have another barrier card. I like I like doing this before like River Shaper draws them a bunch of stuff and things like that. Strike, we will reform. Currents pull them down. Really wish I had the mana for both. My patience wanes. Plus, we're drawing a card here. Maybe we draw a two-mana card, like make it rain, that can maybe pop a barrier. Hush. Oh, that's actually good, but not right. You know, like, I, I don't have the mana to cast it, but it could be good. Uh, no, I don't play fantasy football now. The fourth repost? Had four reposts. Two regular ones and two Fiora's repose. I've so they drew all three Fiora's. I mean I I did draw all three twisted fades. Man, I wish I had one more mana. Come on, don't also have okay, I was gonna say don't also have a second single combat. No. So are they do they just win? Like I can hush Fiora right now, but I think that they they will still just win whenever it goes to next turn. I think. Won't they still just won't it still count as four? And next at the beginning of next turn they just win the game. I'm pretty sure it still it still tracks it. I don't know. Let's see what we can get with Lunari Priestess. Maybe something that can deal with it. Um. No. Stars like jewels on the cloak of night. I think we just lost. If only they if only they played something first. I was hoping they were gonna play like a Shen first, or man, play that Bright Steel formation. If they would have just played that first, then I could have hushed, and then we would have been fine. Danger paid. No, okay, good. Never mind, I was wrong. All right, we're still good. We're still good. Okay, we're still good. So we stun those. We'll play our Diana. I've got your back. Chosen of the moon. We open our hearts to her gentle light. This thing's a 5-3 on this turn right now. If I would have played Diana last turn, it'd just be the little 3-3. Three, three. Gotta go with the flow. Let's go with the flow. So this is six, they're at six. I have Bastion to stop a, a single combat or concerted strike. You'll move. They had the fifth repost. GG's. Alright, two and two. Coming back. Coming back. Moon casts her light across the land. <laughs> Alright, playing some scouts. Like our chances. We're gonna put back the Shade Stalkers. It's just too many of them. We're just going to put them all back. Let's see what else we get. I think scouts can race a 2-3 elusive. I think they can race that. The 
A lot of people are going with the Scouts without Quinn because of the War Chef's nerf. It really left a big hole in the two mana slot. So you put Lucian in the two mana slot, take out Quinn uh, because of that. And then since you're taking out Quinn, you put in Senna. We were peaceful once. So Lucian and Senna replacing War Chefs and Quinn. No more hiding. And we want to trade as much as possible. Like this would be a great trade for us. Um, because like Bannerman can grow Scythria. And also then if they have like Misfortune attacking. That's also annoying. Cool, glad we held on to make a rain. Then we'll be able to play the Priestess now with Nightfall. <clears throat> and then next turn I can gold card Misfortune. Wow, this is tough. I guess I'm not going to behold another card, man. I really want the Cosmic Inspiration, but I guess we're not beholding another Celestial card. So, Messenger's good. Golden Sister's also good. Um, yeah, I mean, these are both great. We'll take Golden Sister. Mind and open heart. Greet the night. Messenger does help out Twisted Fate. Fate. Well, this also just gets two four threes. That's big. We get the, the four three with Lifesteal and the four three with Elusive. For six mana. But yeah, maybe I should have gone Messenger, because Messenger would help level help me draw a card and level up Twisted Fate. Plus a messenger. Change is coming. Um, is you know a nice a nice doggo. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. All right, you're up. I don't know. I guess spray fin and draw make it rain is what I'm gonna do. Darn, I tried. Why are you here? Love ya. <clears throat> then I guess, guess I'm gonna pale cascade the priestess to, to kill the three four. True heart. Ooh, I like the Diana draw. That can help me take down Misfortune. Alright. That's, that's also good for me. Twisted Fate dying, because now we get a new Twisted Fate, so I can just go Twisted Fate Gold Card. Uh, to try to take down Misfortune, and then if they have another barrier, then we can have Diana after that. So that, that honestly worked. Fair. That single combat was really good for me. Unlock new Twisted Fate. Dead in their tracks. I'll be damned. I never replaced my rookie emotes. That's why we lost a couple, because I was playing rookie emotes. Don't fear the dark. Embrace the night. Lady Luck is smiling. Face your heretic. Fight on. That was a great turn for us. Been quite a while, Sarah. So serious. Sarah? I guess Misfortune's name is Sarah. I just learned that today. Things I learned today. Yes, Woolcat went 5-0 again. I'm just gonna take the zero mana card. Sarah Fortune. How do you get the last name Fortune? Sarah Fortune. Burn away the shadows. No room for doubt. You were misguided. Strike when the moment is right. 
and drown. We're going to keep Bastion available. Okay. So if I, if I play the Shade Stalker, then we turn on the Challenger with the Diana. I don't really want to do. We're going to attack. Challenge Misfortune. Let's see what they want to do. Probably going to be bastioning the Serpent to kill the Misfortune, but I, I kind of like doing it like this. Makes their blocks El Terrible. And if they just don't want to block, then we... We're going to have things go boom. Okay, okay. So this the, has them level up Lucian. Let's just have things go boom. We're gonna need more coffins. So, Sarah over here. Sarah's mother was a gun dealer and Gangplank killed... Misfortune's mother with the guns bought from her. Well, that's mean. So Misfortune's mother sold guns, sold guns to Gangplank, and then Gangplank killed her with those guns. That's not cool. In front of her. Wow. That's brutal. The wood can't fight back, but I can't. Okay, well, my plan did involve Riptide Rex killing Lucian. Riptide Rex did not kill Lucian. So, I guess I had a flaw in my plan. So they get another attack step with the Cypria dying now. Sisters. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. But I have the Jagged Butcher to block. And we have three lethal attackers coming back now, and they have just one blocker. So we're still good. Dude, Gangplank's a jerk. Make them go boom. Stand and fight. Soul Raider, you're trying out Lucian Targon. That's probably pretty good. Try to get some Bastions to help protect your Lucian. Yeah, the, the turn, the what really helped me actually, Kazadon, was that single combat killing my Twisted Fate. That helped me replay that other Twisted Fate to, to kill the Misfortune. That helped. Yeah, then some cheap um, Targon units, the sacrifice. Cool. All right, so there we go. Twisted Diana. It felt pretty good. I know we just went three and two. But both those losses at the beginning were ones that, like, like the one our very first loss, right? Like we were we were real far ahead after four turns, but then turn, but then all we had in hand were Hush, Bastion, Bastion, Riptide Rex, Riptide Rex. You know, like, we had both our Rexes and then, like, Bastions and Hush. And so then we didn't get to really do anything on turn 5, turn 6, turn 7, as our opponents were just playing units and attacking us and killing us. Um, and so that that's why we, we lost that game. We didn't have anything else to play. I thought that we were going to be winning that game. Um, so, you know, pretty close to a 4-1, and, and uh, this duck felt, felt strong. Just these Targon cards are good. Quick attack challenger is really good. Other challenger is good. Then you got the priestess for invoke. That's strong. Obviously, twisted fate spray fin are strong. Just lots of strong cards here within a bilge water and targon. These are probably the two best regions, and putting it together uh, gives you a lot of very good options. All right, so a nice three two there. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments as well. 
Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Twisted Diana, and I'll see you for the next video.